is Tom Lee. I'm a resident of Queenstown. Uh, my title is Chester Riverkeeper. I am an employee of the Chester River Association. It is my full-time job to be an advocate for this waterway, be it in Chestertown, in Centerville, or Annapolis or Washington, D.C. And as a kid, I was fortunate enough to have access to the water, didn't have video games, uh, lived on a very rural uh, neighborhood, and the backyard, the Y River, the beaches, the marshes, the sands, and the soils and the forests were my playground. And that instilled within me, I think, my environmental uh, ethic and, and desire to work uh, in my community and, and give back and for my community. The Waterkeeper movement was uh, founded by uh, Robert Kennedy, Jr. It started out in the Hudson River, New York City and along with a group of commercial fishermen, recreational fishermen, started to fight the polluters in New York Harbor that were dumping contaminants and threatening their livelihood and affecting their health and the, the prosperity of their community. That movement has slowly been growing over time to where there is now 191 uh, internationally. People like myself in the Chester River that fight for their local waterways and preserving and, and repairing and restoring those waterways. Uh, our most recent report card published uh, gives the creeks and streams that feed the river itself a C and the, the river itself a D, uh, which by any parent's measure it calls for a parent-teacher conference. You know, fix Chester Town and you'll fix the Chester River. It's not that simple. Most worried about would be their ability to use the waterway in the way that in which it was intended. Everyone in the state owns this. The Constitution of the state of Maryland states that the population of the state owns this waterway. Therefore, I have every right to fish, crab, swim, and, and enjoy it as I desire. And that right that's guaranteed to me is slowly being eroded by the pollution that's dumped into the river from a myriad of sources. And I think it should be a wake-up call to residents of the area and folks that come in from out of the area and use the waterway for recreation, for commercial fishing, what have you. They need to tread a little more lightly on the, on the ground here. Uh, so it, it's that the health of the fish, the healthy crabs, and obviously uh, fishable and swimmable waters would be of major concern when someone sees a D on a report card. This isn't the way it used to be. This isn't the way it should be. And this is not the way it has to be that they should go home and tell their parents to recycle, drive less, and impose or upgrade their septic systems, put in a grass waterway, uh, plant some trees, native trees in their yards, uh, install a rain barrel, decrease the impervious surface on their property, uh, any and all of these things, uh, again, taken collectively, can make a difference, especially when a critical mass is reached. I'm very optimistic, and, and some would say to a fault. I see and I sense uh, a, a movement and an empowerment of people, they're aware of septic upgrades and people are recycling and reducing their environmental footprint. I'm certainly encouraged uh, and optimistic about President Obama's executive order and drawing attention to the national embarrassment that the Chesapeake has become and instead looking at that as something that we can be proud of and return maybe not to its original state, I think that's an impossibility, but certainly improve upon to where people feel more comfortable about fishing, swimming. And I, that optimism hopefully will continue uh, to grow and, and, and affect more and more people.